On the morning prior to every tournament, a 20-minute Dohyo consecration ceremony takes place at 10 a.m. Today, I queued up with hundreds of others to witness this ceremony for the first time in 11 years. And, armed with my superpower lenses, I was able to snap some shots which hopefully we can all treasure. Only wrestlers ranked Komusubi and above may attend this prestigious sumo event. These men are also given virtually the best view in the house, along with coaches occupying senior positions in the judging division. In total, about 40 coaches connected to the judging division are seated around the dohyo. All referees must be present, presumably because they'll need to do this one day. Several yobidashi are also there. The best seat in the house, though, in front of the wrestlers and bang in the middle, goes to Chairman Hakaku, who enters last of all and is bowed to by everyone. In the center of the dohyo, we have a mat placed just behind a mini altar, surrounded by seven wands fitted with zigzag-shaped gohei paper strips, each strip signifying a divine presence. Three high-ranked referees slowly approach the dohyo, dressed in the robes of Shinto priests. The most senior, Shikimori Inosuke, wearing an orange collar underneath. The two men flanking him, donning robes of pure white. As they seat themselves at ringside, Kimura Hisanosuke, brother of ex-wrestler Kyokudozan, is to the right. Kimura Asanosuke to the left. The first to mount the dohyo is Hisanosuke, who claps his hands twice as anyone might do before a Shinto shrine, asks the congregation to stand and bow, and softly chants a brief prayer. After that, he rises, lifts up the branch of an evergreen sakaki plant, and blesses each side of the dohyo by swinging it across his body three times at shoulder height, to the left, to the right, and left again the sumo folk directly before him bowing as he does so. He travels south, then north, then east, and finally west. Hisanosuke returns to a kneeling position before the altar, claps his hands twice again, then dismounts. In his place rises Inosuke, first to sprinkle some purifying salt, and then to kneel before the altar and read a prayer of his own. He implores the gods to bless the upcoming tournament and maintain a safe dohyo environment. Next comes the planting of wands at the four corners of the dohyo. Hisanosuke and Asanosuke silently carry out the task, while Inosuke holds his kneeling position and prepares the all-important libation. The ensuing act of consecration, that of pouring the sake over the straw bales, is the one you're most likely to have seen on TV or online. The two junior referees begin by consecrating the raised agedawara bales in the four corners, just in front of the wands. Pouring to the left, right, and finally center. They then remove the remaining three wands from the center of the dohyo and hand them to ringside helpers. After handing over his wand, Inosuke receives a liqueur war fan, returns to the altar, humbly sliding on his knees as he's among important company, and swings his fan to the left, right, and left again. He then offers us a more theatrical speech, which basically means, heaven and earth open up to divide light and darkness, positive and negative. Light is a win, darkness is a loss. Winning and losing is determined according to heaven, earth, and natural law, but to be played out by men. This immaculate clay and straw bale circle constitutes our festival in aid of a fine harvest. The circle covers all directions, and we shall decide all our wins and losses within it. Inosuke then pours sake into a square hole between the starter's lines, before sprinkling some dried squid, kelp, and other items into the same hole. All items symbolizing preservation and long life, i.e. not coming to harm inside the ring. 
Inosuke then rises to consecrate the four tokudawara, or kind bales, in the middle of each side of the ring, so called because they allow the defending wrestler a couple of extra centimeters breathing space compared to the remainder of the rope. Here are the prize shots, sake in mid-flight. The ritual is then completed by Hisanosuke and Asanosuke, who offer each oversized sumo elder a sip of sake for good luck. With ringside pallets moistened, two groups of yobidashi each carry a suspended taiko drum around the ring and complete three circuits, each drumbeat imploring would-be spectators to flock to the sumo tournament. They will then depart by car to pay a drumming visit to each sumo stable and notable Ryogoku restaurants to literally drum up support for the tournament and distribute rankings charts. That's the rest of their day gone. Returning to the Kokugikan forecourt, we find Tamawashi and Hakuho's coach posing for pictures in front of the two most recent title winner portraits. Tamawashi, having dropped out of the Sanyaku ranks, was not permitted to attend the purification ceremony and has just finished twiddling his large thumbs. Hakuho, having pulled out of the tournament, cannot really be seen turning up only to claim his portrait. Besides, heaven knows what he might force the crowd to do. So Miyagi no Oyakata collects it instead. Plenty more I could tell you, but it's getting very late. You've now seen that the May Dokyo has been officially consecrated, meaning that the May action can officially commence. See you in a few hours.